what is up welcome back to another crumble video today we have brie she hasn't been in the videos for so so long i feel like we look different but brie i actually did her hair um i always do her hair but this time i did full on braids i didn't do them in the ponytails first and you guys just look i'm literally obsessed with the way that her hair turned out this week so she finally decided to be in the video are you excited to try some cookies yes so we're really excited for this week's lineup tabby is here as well she just woke up from her nap but yeah um we're excited to just get into the cookie so i Mommy, today luckily tabby's up. i know i know she's up so today the lighting is better so that's a good thing i'm gonna try to leave earlier in the day to do the videos since it is fall time now but the lighting is better so that is gonna be good um so i think i like the way i did it last week better where instead of showing you guys each cookie i just um <laughs> she's repeating what i say instead of showing you guys each cookie and then trying them i think it's better to review the description and then try them rather than reviewing all the descriptions first. I think I like that way better. So we're gonna do that. As I mentioned before, they did say that every week they were gonna have one to two new cookies. So this one is not new, but this is their fall cookie. It's another one of those fall themed cookies. Um, they've been having like one fall cookie every single week. So this is pumpkin chocolate chip. I think I have reviewed this before. An autumn staple, a fluffy pumpkin spice cookie packed with semi-sweet chocolate chips and i feel like i need to show you guys the descriptions a little better but i've reviewed that before and like i said they do have like one or two new cookies every week and then lately what they've been doing for the fall is they've been having like a fall themed cookie so this one we'll try first then this one i've had before it is like like a muffin basically like a pumpkin muffin with chocolate chips you want to try this one bray it's pumpkin Okay, she doesn't want to try the pumpkin, so I'll just try that one myself. I want this one. It's got a good flavor. Definitely tastes like more like a pumpkin spice and a pumpkin pie. And it's very dense. I like the flavor of that cookie, but the chocolate chips are a little weird they're not really melty they're just kind of like i don't know they're kind of a weird texture they're not like melty chocolate chips they're just like something kind of different which is kind of throwing me off um i get a lot of spice which is nice so it definitely has a good pumpkin spice flavor the cookie even though it's probably something you could eat in one sitting is actually kind of dense so it kind of reminds me of like a combination of a muffin and a scone it's more denser than a muffin but lighter than a scone but this um i mean it's pretty decent i probably would give this like a 7 out of 10 because it's good but the chocolate part's throwing me off so next up this is the one brie wants to try so we're going to try this one next this is chilled peaches and cream a chilled peach sugar cookie finish with fresh whipped cream and delicious peach topping. So this one, I think this is a new one. I think this is our only new one of the week. So let's try it. Hmm. That is very refreshing. I love the jam on top. I'm not the biggest fan of peach, but I think that since most of our cookies this week are richer, this is nice. Um, it is more of a summer flavor than fall. I'm not sure what this has to do with fall, but I like it. And this is this is not icing. This is like a whipped texture. It's like whipped cream. And then this is the jam. It's a nice cookie. You want another bite? I like how that is very refreshing. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of peach. So I probably would give that one 
a seven out of 10. If it was another fruit, like maybe some kind of a berry, cause I love berry stuff more than like peach and apricot then I would have given it probably like an eight or nine, but it is nice for something a little different. Um, it definitely is more of like a summer flavor though. Next up, I have tried this before. They had this, I think, not that long ago. I think it was in June. This is warm, red velvet cupcake, a red velvet cookie topped with a swirl of delicious vanilla cream cheese frosting and a sprinkle of crumbly red velvet cookie crumbs. So this basically is just like their red velvet base with the cream cheese frosting. I might like this the best. I don't know because I say it all the time, but I love their cream cheese cookies and I do really love red velvet stuff. You gave her her toy? Yeah, I gave her her toy and it would drop. You got it for her? Yeah. Hmm. That's good. Okay, I'm sorry. We have colds, all three of us. Um, mine's not as bad as the girl's cold. Um, okay. We literally were just sick three weeks ago. Like, it's crazy. But this is delicious, you guys. I personally just love red velvet stuff. And plus, I already love the cream cheese. So this, to me, is like a 10. And it's a little bit crunchy on the outside, but it's so soft on the inside. It's like the perfect dessert. So this, this to me is so far is my favorite cookie. This is the next one. This is not new. This is warm, of course, double fudge brownie, a thick brownie cookie topped with glossy chocolate glaze and freshly baked brownie bites. So this is similar to the regular brownie, but it basically just has more of like, you know, some icing on the top. It's a chocolate glaze and then it has little brownie crumbs, but really it's just similar to the regular brownie cookie. This one could potentially also be a favorite of mine because even though I don't typically go for all chocolate things lately, I've been really liking Crumbles chocolate cookies and I really always love the brownie one. So this, this or the cream cheese one could be my favorite one, but we'll see. Mm. Let's break it. Mm, try. I want peach. Peach. Okay, you can have the peach then, all right? Brie keeps asking for that peach cookie. Yeah, but she normally is. does love chocolate cookies too, don't you, Brie? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then it has chocolate chips inside too. That's really good. Mm. Literally tastes just like a brownie. Doesn't even taste like a cookie. And look at the center. It's like so chewy and fudgy. But it definitely is richer than their regular brownie cookie. So if you are like a chocolate or if you're craving chocolate, you'll like this. But if not, you probably would prefer their regular milk chocolate brownie because this one is more of a dark chocolate. The other one is more of a milk chocolate. But this, you guys, this is perfect. This is tied so far with that red velvet. I don't even know which one's gonna be my favorite, but they're both so good. Also, somebody just pulled up next to me and I don't care. I used to care when I like first started doing YouTube, but now I'm kind of just like, it's whatever. Cause like we all consume video content. So like someone has to film it. Like it's nothing to feel weird about you guys. If you're looking to get into your YouTube journey, like don't feel weird about filming with others and around. This is, oh my God, this is good. That's tied with the red velvet. Okay, so Brie, she said that she wanted this next cookie. This is our last cookie. And Perry also wanted this one. So I got two of it. This is the strawberry pop tart. This is warm breakfast with a pop, a buttery cookie packed with strawberry filling, then covered in a pool of melted white mm. chips, crushed frosted, strawberry pop tarts and flaky rainbow sugar. So if you remember two, three weeks ago, I think it was, they did have the brown sugar one that was new. This is not, but I feel like this one looks different from the way that it used to look. I don't know if I'm wrong, but we always love a good pop tart cookie. Um, Brie said she wanted this one. So let me say, Brie, do you want to try this one? You want to try the strawberry? Yeah. I 
Oh, here. So she doesn't want to try it. Um, but I still got two of it just in case. The center looks a little bit questionable. Let me see. Okay. And then has some strawberry in the center like a pop tart. Mmm, that's good. Peach. That Pop-Tart cookie, it is not underbaked, but it almost is. Um, it actually is very close to being underbaked, you guys. But it's not quite underbaked. It's okay. Um, but besides that, that one, I think I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. So it's not quite tied with the brownie and the red velvet, but it is next up. So those I think are my favorite cookies this week. So now it's time to rate what we ate. So I think first place this week, or actually let's not do it like that. Let's go last place to first place. So I think last place for me is probably gonna be the peach cookie because I'm not really a big fan of peach. I love how it's chill. That's very refreshing, but I'm not the biggest fan of peach. And you know, it was nice to have a nice like fruity refreshing summer flavor in there but not the biggest fan of peach next up is going to be the pumpkin one because even though i do love pumpkin stuff that cookie was kind of oddly dense for me like it was too dense and the chocolate chips in there they don't melt they're like they have like an airiness to them which i think is kind of odd it's not like a regular like the brownie cookie for example the chocolate chips melt that one doesn't and that's weird so i don't know what's up with that and there's not much to it. I mean, it's okay, but you know, I just prefer the ones with frosting on them anyway. So that would be next up. And then after that, the strawberry Pop-Tart, that came very close to being a little bit higher. Um, but the center was almost underbaked and you know, I still like it though. It's still a good cookie, but the other two I prefer more. So the other two, the red velvet, you guys, and the brownie, I want to tie, but I think for entertainment purposes i'm going to have to pick a favorite this is tough i don't want to do it but second place i'm going to give to the red velvet yes i know it has the cream cheese but you guys the brownie cookie is literally perfection it is very rich but the fact that it tastes like an actual brownie i'm here for it because you know a lot of times with the crumble cookies sometimes they all kind of taste the same but the fact that the brownie cookies at crumble always taste like a real brownie I think is super cool and I love how they're able to actually recreate that flavor so that for me is going to be cookie of the week but honestly the red velvet is basically up there with it as well so this week I'd recommend the double fudge brownie the red velvet the pop tart um the pumpkin cookie you might want to skip that it depends I mean if you like pumpkin get it but if you're not that big on pumpkin you're not going to like it um because it's kind of dense and the chocolate chips don't really melt which is weird the peach one's refreshing but if you don't like peach skip that cookie but you guys you definitely got to get the other ones and i really feel like the strawberry pop tart cookie is going to be something everyone's going to like i don't think she wants to try any of the others she might later in the week because we both kind of change up like what our favorites are and what we want to try the sun's coming in really bad don't mind that uh one week it's too dark the next week it's too bright right but yeah, um, those are my favorites, and that's going to do it for this week's crumble review, you guys. I love her hair. It's so cute. Okay, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, leave comments below, subscribe if you are not already. And until next time, what do we say? No. No? Shadu. Aw. Bye, guys.